Hello, today I want to show you some redstone stuff. Some I've already made, some I'm planning to make. Now, nothing here is new or unique. Everything has already been done and even better. But still, I kind of find this interesting. So, I'm just going to show you. Not sure if this video is going to be anything useful. So, yeah, prepare to waste your time. First thing is this music system. How does this work? Well, first of all, here we have a T flip flop. This is on and this is off. In on state, on at on state, redstone power goes down here into this piston, which pulls this block up, turning on this. This is an ether hopper clock. I'll link in the description. These are the repeaters time to play the note. This was an attempt to play the other side. Here's one block back. Here's the, this one is all the way back. All the way back. Two. Back, back. One. Back, back, back. None. Back, 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 back. And one. So yeah, that works. Next thing is this. I find it cool that it connects here. Uh, let me show you. They're working on two independent hopper lines. How do I connect the timing? Let me show you that. Repeater, dropper, redstone dust, and a solid block. Repeater face, a dropper facing in here, solid block, repeater, redstone dust, repeater, dust, 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 dust. Here we go. Put one item in here, just one and put one here that's it there you go this thing works third thing i want to show you is this basketball court question mark these other plays the basketball they throw the balls in the hopper it goes down there's a hopper line up to here there's an auto dropper if you want to add a ball there's a button here if you want to play the note manually there's a button here let me show you the thing so by default, this torch keeps the entire thing on, locking this hopper. Normally, if the hopper is not locked, the item will go straight down and this comparator won't be able to detect it. So that's why this torch keeps this thing locked. So when the item come here, turn this thing off, we can get a redstone output. Which will unlock this thing. An item can then go through. We, um, then we'll take that output. With a small delay, it will then turn on this not block. I'm bad at explaining things a bit, so try to understand it. Let me show you. Next we have here is a 3x3 piston door. Design is not mine and I don't remember the video I saw it from. It was a while back. Thing opens from the button and from this pressure plate and if you put it upside down it turns it off so i made the lock system let me show you normally when the door is unlocked This, this piston extends with the button. This piston extends with the pressure plate. These observer detects that state change and open the door. When the door is locked, redstone power goes through here to this block, then going up to the solid block, turning this lamp on and goes down. To this piston which pulls back the stone and same thing here so these observer don't work anymore and when the signal strength is too high it goes to here pulling this block back so again this one the system doesn't work very simple i also have this doorbell this is the note and also 
turn on this light on the inside. Let me show you how this one works. There's a node block behind it. Detecting that, this observer chain goes down, turning on this node block, and solid block here turns on the lamp. Here's a vending machine. You put the currency in here and it gives the item of your choosing back in the same barrel. I have already made a video on this on the channel. I'll link it in the description. What it also does is every time you make a purchase, there's a small chance you will get a special gift. So it's a bit too crowded in there, so I'm gonna show it in a flat world. So let's go over there. I don't exactly know how to make a randomizer, so I made this. What you need is a dropper, a hopper, a comparator, two rest known dust, one known stackable item, and eight different stackable items. Put the mode in there. I imagine this is a purchase button, and every time you purchase an item, it have a one out of nine chance of giving a two restons uh, to power circuit you can just repeat the whole process as many times as you want giving you lower and lower chance every time so one out of nine then one out of nine then one out of nine and when you get that you'll get your gift from the bag you can close it off the it's not compact, but you know, I made it on my own. I'm proud of that. Yeah, that's what I said about the video not being useful. Charcoal. Saw this clip on Reddit, and it's a bunch of snowmen shooting lit snowball at the zombie and causing fire damage. I want to try that. I think I can make a cow farm out of it. Okay, I think the thing is ready. On here we have a name zombie, water source, two block space, and there's a half slab, fire, and if you put it down, it will try to shoot it, but it's not gonna do any damage. It's not gonna do any damage. And if we put a bunch of cows in here, we breed them. Hold on, so you know, forgot something. Babies will go, will go down. I'm hoping when they grow up, they'll get hit by the thing. I think they're getting hit by the ball, but not taking fire damage. Hmm. But if that doesn't work the same as the video. I can see the fire particles on snowball. Uh, I think it they may be a little. Yeah, okay, I'll try running the simulation again with full block. No fire damage. I don't know why it worked for him in the video. Let me check the video again. Yeah, I don't get it. Bedrock only. There you go, bedrock only. Okay, so if you're on bedrock, try that. I'll just put it in the video. Not for Java, but it might work for bedrock. I had two more ideas, but I couldn't make them, so I decided not to put them in the video. Maybe I'll try again some other time. For now, this is it. And to help me with a little bit of motivation, please subscribe and comment, especially comment. Please comment. It will really help me. Thank you. Bye.